Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Great, uh, the Canadian Tibetan Cultural Centre was established in my riding of Etobicoke Lakeshore on October 17, 2007. And on Saturday, February 21st, the Centre celebrated Tibetan Lunar New Year with their special guest, Dr. Andrew Bennett, Ambassador for Religious Freedom from the Office of Religious Freedom. I'm pleased to say that over the years, I've had the honour and privilege of being a guest on many special occasions at the Canadian Tibetan Cultural Centre. Most recently, uh, to mark the 25th anniversary of the Dalai Lama's being presented with the Nobel Peace Prize. At that event, I was also very happy to be on hand to help cut the ribbon on the Centre's new kitchen, which was made possible thanks to a $150,000 grant from the Ontario Trillium Foundation last year. And this investment from the Ontario Trillium Fund and subsequent kitchen renovation will support the Canadian Tibetan Cultural Centre's role of providing social, cultural and recreational uh, programs for participants of all ages. Now, I'm very proud to have the first and only Tibetan Cultural Centre in Canada right in my riding of Etobicoke Lakeshore. And I also want to make mention of the 56th National Tibet Uprising Day taking place tomorrow on March 10th. Mr. Speaker, I know that this day is very important to my guests and to all Tibetans across Etobicoke Lakeshore in Canada. To my guests today and Sering Tsomo, President of the Canadian Tibetan Cultural Centre, all of its members and all Canadian Tibetans in Etobicoke Lakeshore, Lo Sarbe Delek. I wish you prosperity and goodwill. Thank you.